I'm Simon Sinek, and you're watching Behind the Brand. So the best definition of love I ever heard is giving someone the power to destroy you and trusting they won't use it, which I love. Um, I think it's the same in business. Um, when we give, when we make ourselves vulnerable, uh, even to our own employees, to our own partners, uh, to our own colleagues, you know, we give them the power to destroy the business and trust that they won't. You know, you g in, in other words, we give people responsibility. Yeah. And we, we don't double check their work. And you know, if they take a few extra dollars from the cash register, then it's on them. Um, you know, in, in highly trusted and trusting organizations, that doesn't happen. Um, I, I uh, was hanging out with some of the folks, uh, some of the senior folks from Container Store recently. And I, I know it's a well-run organization. I know they take care of their people. I know their people feel safe and they like working there. And so I asked a question. Um, I knew what the answer was, but I wanted to hear it from the horse's mouth. I, uh, I said, do you check people's bags? On when they leave, you know, the, the people who work in your retail operations, do you check their bags before they leave at night? And they looked at me and said, why, why would we need to do that? You compare that to a lot of other retail uh, yeah, enterprises. Full body scans. You have, to, you have to check the bags to see that they're not, you know, in other words, when we treat people with respect and we hire people who believe what we believe and we treat people like human beings, um, do there, are there people who steal? Of course. There's always bad eggs. Of yeah. course. But does that mean everybody steals? Of course not. So why do we treat everybody like a criminal? You know? uh, but it can become a culture. I've spent time in Japan, and I was amazed to yeah. see thousands and thousands and thousands of bikes yeah, with no all locks. unlocked. Or, or decorative locks. Yeah. 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 Or people who walk into a coffee shop and put their phone and their wallet on the table to hold the table when they go to the bathroom, as right. opposed to your jacket, which we could lose, but not the wallet or phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> so what do you say to the people that that will push back and just say, you know, that's a really great notion. It's mm. a very romantic thought. It is idealistic, isn't it? But I've given so much, mm. and all everyone seems to do is just take, and uh, that doesn't pay the bills. Well, those are, those are, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of different thoughts going on in there, right? Which is, um, I think when somebody says, all I do is give and all others ever do is take, um, A, I would question the nature of how they're defining giving. You know, I keep paying them more, I keep paying them more, and they... That's not what people want. People want to feel safe, remember? Well, they want to be treated like human beings. They want to be given responsibility and opportunity. They want to feel uh, valued and valuable. Um, they want our time. They want us to help them grow. Um, uh, it also may be that there were some bad choices made, that you, you hired people or chose to give to people for your expediency and not because they actually believe what you believe. Ah, your resume is brilliant. You've worked for my biggest competitor. You've grown, you know how to build a business. You're hired. But you never actually got to know them and find out who they are if you actually get along with them. You don't know if they're a good fit culturally. Uh, so that was, a, that was a selfish hire. Um, so I think some, there's some accountability. If, yeah. if, if somebody actually says, everybody always takes from me, you know, the, I like to joke, there's only one common factor in all my failed relationships, me, right? So it's the same thing, that everyone's always taking from you. There's only one common factor in all of these experiences, which is you. So maybe a little introspection. Um, so, and does it pay the bills? Uh, in the short term, uh, you can bash people over the head and treat them uh, like numbers, and in the short term you will gain, over the long term uh, it doesn't work. Um, what I talk about is idealistic, absolutely, um, but it works over time. Um, if you want to build a fast growth business, ignore everything I'm telling you. If you want to build a stable business, if you want to build, build a business that lasts, that potentially could outlast you, um, and most importantly, that if you took a vacation and you didn't check your phone or your computer, Everything would work fine. Or while the cat's away, the mice won't play. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. In, fact, exa in fact, while the cat's away, the mice will work harder because they don't want to let you down. They want to make you proud. They want to prove to you that your, all of your sacrifice and belief in them was worth it. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's an amazing feeling when that happens. But like any kind of relationship, uh, it doesn't happen overnight.